there everybody, Victoria Lampini here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make materials and objects transparent in Maya with the Arnold Render. First off, let me unhide this, and let me show you what it looks like in the Arnold Render without the transparency. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, black plans, so we're going to have to fix that. Now the first thing we have to do is that we have to grab the pine leaf materials, and then we have to change it from Lambert to AI standard surface right here. Now, of course, this means we have to get back the texture so let's go to color and we click on this black and white checker box right here and go to file next we click on this folder here and let's see if we can find the pine leaves pine tree leaves tree leaves. Well, that should do it. Wait, is that the right one? Let me check it again, because I got a lot of files. Tree leaves too, is that it? Yeah, I believe that's it. Well, it wouldn't really matter that much anyway. Anyway, now that we've got this, the pine tree leaves Two. So we've got our texture back. Now we've got to go down to geometry and go and check thin wall. Now what we have to do is that we have to make a transparency guide version of this file, Pine Tree Leaves 2. So let's go into Photoshop. And we must open the file for the pine tree leaves to. As we can see, we have our pine tree leaves in a transparent background. Now what we have to do is that we have to make a new layer down here and then put this underneath. And what we got to do is that we got to make the background black. And next, let's make another layer above the pine tree leaves. We right click and we go to create clipping mask. Next, we make our brush white and we paint over. Oops, hold on. That's odd. It's very odd. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Sorry for the struggle. I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, I know what it is. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry. I have to do that. Uh, instead of using the clipping mask, let's try this. A color overlay. Hmm. Kind of messed with the transparency a bit, I guess. Hmm. Let's see if we can fix this a bit. Let's see, I did this. Now let's see if we can eliminate those parts in between. Now, hold 
hold on a second. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, now, with the clipping mask, we will shroud it in white. Now we got to save this file as... Pine leaves transparent file. Then we got to quickly export it into a PNG file so that we can use it in Maya. Okay, now back in Maya, we have the null checked in the geometry folder. Now we go to opacity, click on the checkered box. Go to the folder, and now we pick the file that we had just created. There we go. Now we still can't see it, but we can go to Render Viewport 2.0 right here. And we can change the transparency algorithm from object sorting to alpha cut. That way we're able to see the results. There we go. Now, let's make this a little more green, shall we? There we go. There we go. But when we turn this on, you can see that it's still showing black. Well, what we have to do, I mean, the best thing we could do, since it's all made of so many pieces, what we can do is select the whole thing, and then we can combine it. May take a little while since there are so many different parts, but bear with it and be patient. There we go. Now we delete by type history. And now we go to this, the pine tree shape mesh. And then we go down to the Arnold tab and we switch off opaque. And that There we go. That does the trick. There. Now, the parts of the tree are transparent. this up a little bit so we can see it better. And yeah, that pretty much does it. And that is how you make materials transparent in the Arnold Renderer. Thank you very much. I hope this tutorial was useful to you, and I'll see you in a different video. Goodbye.